so we're right here right now and here. the start line's right here so this is all mark mile markers just zoomed out really far how many miles? Carson said. I think it's 490. Mm. Excited? Yeah. Hopefully it goes quick. That's all I'm looking for. We have a first aid kit in here. I know. But what's this one do? I'll try to strap it somewhere. You think me and Brian are going to know what to do with this? <laughs> Throw yeah. it at him. We're the wambulance. Is there a kit uh, or a bag in there that has like the catheters or stuff in it? Uh, the red catheters are on the seat. Are the, huh? They're just on the seat. Well, there was a red bag that was in there. This is a hard That catheters. was the red bag in there? No, there was, was a hat and a shirt in there. But... Yeah, but... Oh, you did? I was going to say, there's catheters, but no shirts. Sounds like a good time. Walk upside down and it slides yeah, out. Then to load in the rigs and getting ready to race. Go. Yeah, and getting the gear and everything ready. It's a grower, not a shower, man. Back to the yeah, so uh, this trip with Cade, you know, like like we do every time. Um, obviously, like everyone asks, like, how do you go to the bathroom? And you got the catheter on on one side, and you just kind of do your business on the floorboard, and then. Like cross your fingers, you don't have to go number two. Uh, that's never happened to any of us, I don't think. So it hasn't ever really figured out a game plan for that. Um, and then like if it's me, especially like I usually have to grab a shirt that I don't really care if I ruin or like one that we have like a ton of. Like obviously we have lots of these because um, I usually throw up like three or four times in the car too. So you know, not not only do we have like competitors you have to race against, but like if it's me, I have to like fight against myself the whole time. So. That's not bad though, you get used to it, you know? <laughs> Trying to remember everything and I don't know, not, not a whole lot. You nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Just hoping that the car works and don't really know until you're like 20 miles in, you know? Right now I'm trying to get all the GoPros put on and plugged in so that we don't have to do it when we're on the line. But yeah, that's about it. Yeah, so we got we got three packs taped up, so that's gonna be our lunch throughout the day probably in a speed zone or down like a fire road we'll rip one off and, and run it for a little bit. I usually try to carry an extra water with me just in the car that me and Caden kinda split if we even we hardly even drink water honestly. And then uh, this is like our emergency uh, blocks, yes. Uh, never ran these, so we'll see what happens, I guess, with those. But yeah, usually just the jerky is the all you really need, you know, and then, and then you're you're on top of it the whole time. So now we're planning on I think like 11 hours is what we're hoping. Um, obviously, you know, everyone has like a good game plan on their head of like what they're gonna do. Um, and then you get up there on the start line and then they say go and then you just kind of go, you know And then the game plans like a suggestion at that point um, I know that like for me and Caden, we're just gonna just take it easy uh, You know kind of get kind of get settled in and and let the race unfold in front of us for a little bit And then then kind of decide where we need to go from there But for the most part our plans usually the same and it's just go fast I guess and try to not lose or break mainly break Everything else comes after that, but you gotta not break first, you know. Vegas Trino always seems to get the best of us. You know, last year we, we had issues and the last like 150 miles, our car was like major down on power. So we ended up losing like three spots up in the mountains. Uh, the year before that, we caught on fire. So this one kind of seems to be elusive from us. It always kind of gets away. 
Um, you know, we are coming off the 500 wins, so we're, we're, we're definitely hoping for it today, so. Our fuel, our fuel rail ended up cracking, and I was trying to get it started, and then since the crack on it, it just was shooting fuel on the motor, and we were on fire, and every, like everyone else basically just stopped, and like our own, like people were racing, stopped and helped us put it out, took like three extinguishers, and then we got towed back to the pit, and fixed it, and kept going. Feeling good? Feeling good? I think everything's ready to go, yeah. Sweet. All for you guys. That's our helicopter right there. That's it's chasing helicopter. us. <laughs> Not the right guy for that. Yeah, <laughs> go faster! Are. Go faster! Yeah, Who told you this about me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Travis. Yeah, I... You ready? Yeah. Yeah. looking at the GPS and all of a sudden it's like a left 90 you know and then we get up there and it's it's not it's like a left 45 or like yeah. we overshoot it you know so it's like I'm kind of hesitant to tell them what speed to carry well that's why it's a lot of like down and it's like you kind of got to dance between it really quick you know what I mean yeah I know and I feel you like it's just I don't know it's like and then, I feel like the driver should be carrying his speed and then I should be trying to tell them like the degree or the angle of the turn and like well, when it's coming you that's know that's why like with me and Caden like our car's quiet a lot of the times yeah like so Kate me and Caden have learned like this like with racing with each other so like uh we'll run like we're burning up like a lake bed or like a wide open fire road or whatever if I just don't say anything Caden will just stay in it so like there'll yeah. be there'll be like a 15 mile stretch where I don't like where we don't even talk because yeah. what I've learned with Caden is the moment you say something yeah, like, like, even, like even like even if I get even if I tell Caden like stay in it or like right six wide open or whatever, Caden will just lift like this the split second. If it's something that's wide open and you use that tiny bit of speed, yeah. that speed's gone in the corner. Now. Yeah, no, I, I, and I agree with that. Like that's why like for me it's quiet until I have something to relay. You know? And then the other thing too is like learning how to like if you can learn how to string them together and stuff with like hills that's when like the speed really kicks in. Cause like if I call into Caden, like right five over crest into left three immediate right one, yeah. Caden knows exactly where to put the car before every corner. Yeah. Right, so where a stretch might take someone 20 seconds being Caden Keita done in 19 or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like, and obviously over 500 miles, one second adds up. stacks up quick. Absolutely. Know? We'll see, we got, a long, we got a long ways to go today. We do? Yeah. It ain't even that far, dude. It's only like 490 miles. You know? Just a 605. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get locked and loaded. I think the start. I think the staging's all bumped up, so we've got to. Good luck, dude. Thank you. Oh, it's hot. are having problems. So I keep track of who comes through and what at what time and then that way we can give our car a time split. What time? Fuel pressure up to like 75 on the regulator. We're gonna need an Allen wrench. What size? I don't know, just grab that. 
Taking Corbin's front clip off, right? No. Yeah, we'll just keep it. Here comes Corbin and Brian. They've had a heck of a time with their fuel pumps. They managed to get them going, and now they're going to come in, and we're going to see what we can do to keep them going. Terminals on this one. Yeah, so we need to get this off. We need to resecure that, put terminals on it. Do you want to get rid of the hose? This pumps out. So this is the new one. This is the this one's out. Size. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. I'm struggling out there. Where's the little gun? It's not a quarter. It's a, a five It's a ten or it's an not eight. A five sixteen. Okay. Oh. Five sixteen right here. It's it? not a 516. So if we win, are we going to go to Disneyland? We can go wherever. That, that is a cute swizzle star on the straw you have there. <laughs> if we win, that'd be pretty crazy. <laughs> it would take a lot for us to win right now. It's out of the question. But a finish? We could finish. It just sucks when it's something out of everybody's control, you know? And with both cars. I know. But what do you do? Now we know we need to go a different pump route. You know? Any first pairs? Got a hole all the way through it. You want me to find you another one? Uh, yeah, where's the spare? We'll grab the spare and throw it on. Our cars are having fuel pump issues. We brought them into the pit. We're trying to fix them, but they're calling out that they're still having some bogging issues. So I, we might be done. Hopefully not, but it doesn't sound good. <laughs> they don't want to go get stuck out in the middle of the desert for hours. They were running second and third in the championship and the DNF, they won't get any points. So it will put them down to where they probably won't be able to, to run. Like I said, I'm just glad everyone's safe. And yeah. like you said, you win as a team, you lose as a team. I guess we'll just have to, this is our, this is our <laughs> loss. Laugh about it. <laughs> when we find out what it is though, oh. It's probably going to be something stupid and then they're going to be like, oh, that took both cars out of the race. The bad thing is, or the crazy thing is, we tested and tested before we came here. We ran more miles than they just ran right now and they didn't have any problems. Uh, though, we'll still race. This is just, this just probably took them out of running for championship. But you win some, you lose some. It's not the regular. That's running at 60. This pump sounds like hell already. Wait, one pump's not even coming up. Oh, the far one over there when he was running back there. Brandon? Brandon? The fuel pressure go from 30 psi to 60 psi. So I'm wondering if we're starving the pump for fuel, which is causing them to overheat. So what happens if we build a, instead of having individual pickups, one on the left and one on the right and the center cap, what happens if we tie all three together and bring it out to one single hose to a pump so that it pulls from all three spots 
on the fuel mat in the pull tank instead of one from the left side and one from the right side. With the pull, but the thing is, all we gotta do is I've got a thing that looks like a shark tail. How and you put it underneath the phone. How much time till the pit closes? Because I don't want to get into this if. I don't know, you'd have to look in there. Huh? The it's barely restarted the race. It's barely yeah. restarted, so they probably, they probably won't close them. Yeah, 75. Look at how dirty this fucking thing is. So, um, that, ain't, that ain't causing it to plug. No? No. They'll, they'll be you want to try to start it before we get too deep? Well, it's going to it start and it runs every time until they take off. Right. Which would act like a fuel filter. They're, they tried to reroute the fuel pump system. Um, instead of running on two fuel pumps, they made it one. This is the last dish effort, and it doesn't work. I don't know. Oh my god. They are alive. It's going to be a long night. might be the last car on course right now but that's okay we just need to finish I don't have words for it <laughs> just a rough day but that's racing so don't like to DNF any races but uh, stuff happens and I guess I'd rather have it happen here than down in Mexico so we'll just call it a day and fight another day go have another race Mexico so that's it We've got a couple double pointers still. For one. What's the plan here now, Travis? We're gonna fix, fix, and come back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Figure out what's wrong first. We're gonna fix and come back. Yeah. Lock one. It's the world championship. Sounds like they're I, running. I, I think they might be racing each other behind the trucks. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I'll work on this as much as we like, needed. Our fuel pump's going, you like, you gotta go. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think we were going to make that. I didn't show. think this one was going to make it this far. I didn't think we were going to make the oh, show. No. no. We overheated the brakes. You did? Yeah, holding it. Oh, Is that why you... Up. Absolutely. Corner, <laughs> and then the whole car we cut out. We were winning until we weren't. We were winning until <laughs> the first turn, and then we were like, I don't think we were ever winning. We ain't yeah, winning this. Been, we might have been for a second, because <laughs> they're like, our car cut out, and then... We're like, okay. They're like, let us know when you're in our dust and we'll let you guys buy. So we catch them. We're like, hey, we're in your dust. They move over. We go buy. And all of a sudden, multi tools right there. And I'm like, oh, dude, they're having issues too. Like, we're good. 
But we were in a speed zone, so we were following them through, and then all of a sudden it was just, and that's that where it began. Huh? That was multi -core. Yeah, yeah. I was, we were about ready to pass them, and yeah. then we couldn't. Yeah. couldn't. Pit one? Yeah, but we were yeah. right on him before the pit. Yeah, yeah. and I, I didn't know who it was. Right in that We were right in there. And then we messed dust. the fuel pumps like four times. The car ran super good for like 20 miles, 10 miles, probably. And then, uh, yeah, that was about it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. There was just a lot of swapping fuel pumps to go. And swapping seats. And seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go, what, like a couple miles at a time? Yeah. So we kind of generic the solution and thought that we had it figured out for. We probably set the record about 10 miles. 10 miles, <laughs> yeah, and then we broke good. within a mile of each, mile of each other or yeah. so. It was a long day. We got back point. up to each other, and we were just Two, three, and back after back one. We fixed the other, fixed yeah. the other, and then the last time on our last pump, which is what we towed in on, and we're here, but we're timed out. So. There you go. What was the biggest takeaways from today? Uh, high speed. More fuel systems, I don't know, <laughs> work on the car. I feel like it's just racing, like, yeah. so sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you learn, you know, like, you got a little bit of uh, the last two, you know. Losing and learning? <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of it, of yeah, it. Yeah, a yeah. lot of it. I it mean, doesn't suck as bad, though, because we did, like, everything that we could, yeah. and all the pit crew, too. Yeah, pit crew did great. Like uh, we never gave up. They never gave up. Like they all busted, busted their butts to get us here. And you know we're super appreciative that everybody showed up to help. And you know like we have great people that surround us and let us come out and do racing and have a good time. And you know like it's it's nice being able to be in a car knowing that whatever we're facing, like the pit crew is trying to do their best to make sure when we come into the pits that they have the parts and stuff that we need to to get back out and be competitive. And, you know, Corbin did a great job. Caden did a great job. You know, me and Mitch, like, we're just trying to hold it together for these guys and, you know, keep the cars running as long as we could. And, you know, it was a, a great day, good learning experience. It sucks we are where we are, but, you know, like, this is probably the worst part of racing, you know, but you learn it and, you know, yeah. there's nothing like it. <laughs> Hopefully it goes quick.